In today's video, we will focus on the validation options in the table view. These three dots in the upper right corner contain the filtering options. Each Leon user can define their own view setting of the schedule list. It is possible to add or remove columns, decide if aircraft or flight number should appear with a color, whether Leon should show any warnings, cautions or notices, and to choose preferred airport code. You can also define schedule grouping types. The Columns tab provides the option to select the columns available in the main table view. Most of them are quite intuitive, but there are a few which require explanation. The Flight Change feature triggers the color status change in case of aircraft, flight number, airports, times, or crew change. The default color, pink, appears when the flight has been created and hasn't been acknowledged yet. It changes to green when it has been acknowledged, but there are no new changes, and finally to orange when changes have been made after it was acknowledged. The status can be changed to acknowledged by right-clicking the corresponding button in the context menu of the flight. The Ops and Sales status items will show a colored dot, indicating summarized status of items in the subsection. If all checklist items in the subsection are green, the dot will turn up green, if at least one item in the subsection has orange status, with all others either on green or white, the dot will appear orange. The red dot refers to the status, when at least one item in the subsection has red status. If the dot is gray, it means that all checklist items in the subsection have the not applicable status. The Requests column corresponds with multi-leg requests, which allow quick and easy arranging of services such as handling, catering, PAX transport, and slot slash PPR. The column quotation added informs us if there's a sales quotation assigned to the flight. There will be a green check or a red dash distinction in the queue column. All warnings in Leon are displayed in red. Here, you can mark particular, or all, checkboxes, and if, for example, PAX number on flight exceeds aircraft PAX capacity, Leon will show PAX number value in red, just like crew codes when crew FTL is violated or crew endorsement is expired. After clicking on cautions, you can mark checkboxes for particular cautions, for example, PAX passport missing, airport category B or heel restriction, which Leon shows in the table view in yellow. Notices are displayed in the table view in white, and can be turned on for items like airport note, flight diverted or aircraft documents expired. In the preferred airport code tab, you can easily switch between IKO and EATAR airport codes to be displayed in the ops section, table, calendar or timeline view. There are three ways you can group flights in the table view. If you select the option none, flights will not be grouped, and they will be sorted by STD. If the day and registration option is chosen, all flights will be grouped firstly by aircraft registration, and then sorted by STD. When day and trip is selected, all flights will be grouped by trip number, and then sorted by STD.